In the midst of one of the busiest areas on the mainland sits Makoko, a rather rural area with a relatively low standard of living where fishing and all activities relating to fish reign supreme. From roasting, drying and frying, with sawmills all over the place and a market for wood, the people of Makoko can be said to be self-sufficient. My name is Soyuni Sunde, and I live in Maoko. I'm a student. Live in Maoko, some people used to go to school, and uh, some do not used to go, because there's no money, there's no lights, and many more. That's how we live. Sometimes, someone will not eat since money. In the future, I want to be a footballer, because I love ball, and it's my passion. That's why I love and I have the talent, that's why I love football and I want to be a player in the future. My name is Oriya Sunday. I live in Morocco. It's a slum and it's our home. Women with stalls on canoes and a significant amount of merchandise moving around Makoko and making ends meet. Little girls and boys having a good grip on the paddle and steering their canoes with finesse. This is not your conventional town. Bad roads, bad walk paths, the absence of clean streets. Poor education, a cauldron of dirty black water and a stench very hard to get used to. And guess what? This is still home to a lot of people. Endowed with talents, we were bedazzled by a young man willing to showcase his singing and rapping abilities. My name is Ido, why people call me showpiece, okay, here in all time. I am artist in music and I do printing or another work. Yeah, I love music because I used to do something when I was young. And that thing, and anything I see, I would just use me to be singing by then. Sing any type of music. If, if I can even sing and full sing anything by then. Even I see somebody is going, I used to do all those things. Tapa on the street, I'm my lock cup. I'm all up on my lock, I'm anybody. Like she, like she, I'm kill you. Apart from music, I'm into printing work. And I do yoga state work again. People that are sweeping road, that is express road. I, my dream is I want to be an artist because I love music. I love music so very well. And I intend to be an artist, to give word some message that is in my mind. Because my eyes have seen, and I want to give message for the people that in the world to know what they will do, to not mistake. My name is Hido. I live in Makoko, it's a slum, and it's our home. We carefully walk through creaking wood parts that leads to almost anywhere in Makoko. Watching our footsteps, we also sat in shaky boats, going from point to point and hoping we don't sink. Amidst all its imperfections, its residents are not dampened or withered. They take each day as it comes and dream of a better tomorrow. They have created avenues to be happy, to smile and show some teeth. We visited a couple of schools made of weak structures, adorned with an unpleasant stench and a far from conducive learning environment. Small stores that housed all learning classes, rid of qualified teachers and where learning is anything but easy. Pupils who don't know what else there is and can be, 
pupils who may seem to have apt ignorance and a mentality that is void of civilization or exposure. One begins to marvel at the sort of education foundation and what fruits it will bear. We are educated. Why so? They did value education. So for those who value education, they still need baby hands. Because all things are not equal. So can afford sending their school children to private. Why so? To the public school. They need to change their orientation. Maybe uh, some of their boys that they feel that, okay, well, this area, maybe be doing that. Like, so they need to change in that aspect. And also, most of the people that give birth, that they are not after a child education. the life of the people living in Marco to provide a job opportunity. People living in Marco. What are they just in the guitar for them? The less privilege among the people living in Marco should be guitar for them. A typical fish trader in Marco wakes up really early and joins a queue of other fish traders waiting for the fishermen to return from their brief voyage. When these fishermen arrive, the women will buy what they can afford and hope to sell. They spend a large amount of the day cleaning and sorting the fishes, or drying and roasting. For a fishing community, fishing is certainly the main source of livelihood. Uh, my name is El uh, Api. Um, this is Marco Ko entirely, you know. Um, basically, what we really do here at Makoko is um, fish. This fish, the big one, I they call a patala maja for a large land. Yoruba, you get one the way Yoruba they call them, but I don't know. The major thing is fish, and you know, we go to the river, we check out for fish, we bring it out. We make it stuff like this, excuse me, stuff like this, and we try to make it nice and look fanimorous. And after all the processing about um, trying to pull the stick, <laughs> trying to make the fish suitable for somebody to chop, we take it to any part of, you know, around the Lagos state here, we sell it. This is a town of dreams and hopes and a lifestyle out of the ordinary. But dreams are for everyone. They grow their dreams and nurture it. Because dreams come to fruition any day, anytime, anywhere. This is Makoko. One love, one mind.